Hi everyone, this is part one of two 2011 favorites videos that I'm doing. This one will be like um, beauty products and the next one will be uh, favorite baby products of 2011. The first one, pardon the nasaliness, this is my first video in a few weeks because I have been really sick. I got sick towards the beginning of December. I started to get a little bit better and then I just like crashed and burned and it's been pretty bad and this is the first day that I'm really starting to feel better so I'm hoping that I continue to feel better. But if I sound sick, that's why, because I am. Uh, the first one is a shampoo and conditioner. I actually just have the conditioner bottle because I ran out of the shampoo and I need to order it. It is um, Enjoy. And this is the luxury conditioner, and they don't sell it in salons here, and they did in California, so I do have to buy it off online now. Um, but this is my absolute favorite. I've been using it for over five years. Now, I have tried to explore other brands, and nothing compares to this. Uh, before I dyed my hair brown, I had blonde hair, I, I highlighted my hair. And I really needed something that was going to moisturize my hair and absolutely nothing compares to this, no matter what I try. And I've tried to do drugstore brands because it'd be really nice to pay less for something, but this is what works and I just need to stick to it. Um, but they're, it's the luxury line. They have, oh, it's not gonna pick up. Luxury conditioner and it's sulfate free. Um, so it doesn't like strip your hair of the moisture that it needs. I did try using the regular shampoo um, from this line because I do have oily roots even though my hair is dry. My roots get oily really easily so I tried using the regular and then just using the conditioner for my ends down but it's not really making a difference as far as oiliness goes but my hair just feels so so soft after using this. And then um, before I heat style my hair I use uh, Tresemme and this is a this is my favorite and it's cheap it's like three bucks um, you can get it on sale sometimes it'll be like buy two get one free and then you can stock up and this is the heat tamer spray I use it before I blow dry my hair and I use it before I either flat iron or curl my hair and I can definitely tell a difference I've used this for over a year and um, you know I don't I haven't needed to try anything else because this works and I can tell when I don't use it my hair is a lot stiffer like it just feels like my hair is being fried and um, this just makes a huge huge difference another drugstore product that's really cheap that I like is the um, suave dry shampoo and at first I wasn't impressed but I, I think it was user error to be honest I was like sp I would spray it and then it would leave this residue and it was gross but really now I just kind of like, when I need to do it, I'll like hold my hair up and I'll just do it lightly like this and it soaks up the excess moisture and doesn't leave that like skunk line in between. So I know there's other brands that are more expensive and I mean some people don't like this, some people love this, but for $3 I'm not complaining at all. Um, I didn't use hairspray for the longest time. For years, I never used hairspray. And then somebody introduced me to the L'Oreal Albert spray, and now it's bad. I was all proud of myself, like, I don't use hairspray. I'm doing good for the environment. Do, 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 do. And now this stuff, I, I have it in my hair today, and it just, oh, look at this. It's not nothing. It, oh. Oh, where was this all of our lives? Remember, what is it, like Aquanet? People would like spray and their hair would be like, I don't know. But this stuff is great. I love it. Um, this is old. It's really old. I've had this for like five years too, but it is sticking with me. And it is the T3 blow dryer. It was expensive, but I've had it for over five years. And um, the I could tell that when I use it, the frizziness isn't as bad as when I use a regular blow dryer and my hair dries faster and when you turn it on it's not as loud it doesn't have like that really crazy like sound that a lot of blow dry 
it obviously blows and it has noise, but it just, it sounds like it's on low all the time, but it dries a lot faster. And then my Chi, oh, I love my Chi. Um, I've had this one, again, for years. These products are expensive, but they last a long time. If you treat them right, you're not buying them over and over again. And before I had a Chi, I would buy like Conair or whatever at the store, and it just did not work on my hair that well either, and then they would break really easily. Um, I am kind of feeling tempted to try a GHD though, but this I love, so it has to be a favorite because I used it all of 2011 and before. And then this spray, I've had the same bottle for a couple years. It is the um, Fakai Gloss Sheer Shine Mist, and it just leaves like you don't want to like get it all up in your roots but if you just kind of like spray your ends it just leaves like a nice pretty shine to your hair um, makeup wise or face wise or whatever wise um, this the Clinique Moisture Shirts oh, I don't know why it's so blurry it's Clinique Moisture Surge and it has like a really light fresh scent but this is good if you have dry skin or oily skin you can use it day or night I do use a night cream just because my skin tends to be on the dry side but this is so so great for the moisture that you need but it's not heavy so using it during the day is great when you ha especially if you have dry skin and you use a heavier cream you don't want that on your face during the day it just leaves like it just makes your face feel really heavy and this is so light and again it's good for oily or dry um, this product is I think like my favorite product of the year it is a Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown corrector and it's for under your eyes I never really thought that I needed anything for under my eyes I mean I guess maybe I was feeling a little bit too good about my under eye area because when I tried this on, it made the biggest difference out of any product that I have tried thus far. Man, big difference. So even if like you don't have like big bags or super dark circles, this stuff is good. If you have dark circles, this stuff is good. If you have puffiness under your eyes, this stuff is good. It, I just can't even rave enough about it. I don't need concealer for under my eyes just yet. The corrector is is good so but it just it takes away like any any type of unevenness under the skin and so it like actually blends my my color you know into my skin and it's amazing um, this is just like a little I have a bunch of these like the little teeny tiny size but the urban decay primer potion this stuff is amazing it you don't need a whole lot of it and it makes your eyeshadow last all day long and prevents creases just a great 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 product um, another product from Urban Decay are their 24 7 eyeliners oh I am in love with these like I just don't know what I did before I ever experienced them but they go on like super duper creamy and soft and when you're working with your eye area and you're getting like under here, you don't want to like be doing this and tugging here and like your your eyeliner pencil is like tugging at your skin and this just goes on. It's like silk for your eyes. It's I love this and I have them in so many different colors and people like get me little gifts of them. So I'm just collecting all of these eyeliner pencils and they're amazing. Um, this one everybody has heard of by now, I'm sure, the Naked Palette. Um, my eyes actually are using all the eyeshadows today as well, and I mean, I love it. They, it just has very versatile colors. You can do all kinds of looks with it. You can be bold if you want to. You can be super, super neutral, and I mean, it's a great deal for the um, number of eyeshadows you get, and then they last a long time. So I've had this for a long time. And, oh, this is actually the new one. I have two, but the other one I barely touched, and I grabbed this one just because I saw it, but I have one that I'm using, and this one is just my backup. Um, and then I finally hit pan. I've had this for almost three years. Yeah, almost three years. And it is the um, NARS Laguna Bronzer and Orgasm Blush, and I finally 
finally hit pan. But I really like um, this duo. They're, they're just like the little child size, whatever. Um, but it just creates a nice glow. And then you have the blush, which is just a really pretty pink. And they look sparkly in the pan, but they're not. And it's not going to focus. Sorry. But they, they, they don't go on sparkly like they show. And that that is it those are my favorites for 2011 I have a few products that I just started using in December that I absolutely love but I didn't think that I should include them yet just in case you never know things could change but they'll probably be in a favorites video coming up soon so anyways I hope you guys are having a great start to your new year and I will talk to you soon